What's up everybody, how are we getting on today? So for today's workout, uh, we're gonna incorporate three different exercises. Uh, we're gonna do something called thrusters, uh, we're gonna do lunges, and we're gonna do crunches. Now today, the way today's session is gonna run, it's gonna run on a high rep range, lowering down on each round. So we're gonna start off with 50 reps on the first round, then 40, 30, 20, 10. So the very first exercise we're gonna do is thrusters. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it using books. So, um, use grab some heavy books, light books, a few different books. It's completely up to you. Um, you don't have to use books. You could use uh, maybe a bag, a backpack, put something into it to make it a bit heavier. Um, you could use, uh, say, tins of beans. So just something to add a little bit of weight into your hands as well, because we're going to be pressing up overhead with this and we're going to be squatting as well. So the very first exercise is the thruster. So we start with our foot position, right? Feet just over shoulder width apart from there. And what we're going to do is feet just over shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed out. We're going to squeeze our shoulder width, lift the chest up. We'll hold our books up by our chest here. We'll push our hips back. We'll push our knees out to the side. We'll squat all the way down, as low as we can get down. Push through the heels, stand up, and press up overhead, locking out the arms right up. So bring your back to your chest down and up. Breathing out as you're pushing up, and at the same time trying to make sure the weight stays within the heels of your of your foot, and driving through. Snap your hips forward, squeeze your backside as you're coming up, and just to show you from the side. So hips back, knees out to the side, down. Keep the chest up, and pressing right up overhead at the top. So that's your very first exercise, your thruster, and your lunges is the second exercise. So what you do is you do 50 uh, thrusters. You then just put the, your weight down and you go into lunges. When we're lunging, feet just over shoulder width apart. Nice big step forward. Back knee is going to drop down to the floor. Try and touch your knee off the floor. Stand up and back up. Opposite side, down, back up. Maintaining the gap between your legs. If you come too far forward, you might start losing balance. Um, if your legs are too close together. So maintain that gap and make sure you're dropping that knee down, back up. Keeping your chest upright as well. So, that's your second exercise. And um, once you finish your 50 uh, lunges, you're gonna drop to the floor. And we're gonna go into crunches. So with your crunches, feet flat on the floor, hands on the side of the head, squeeze your stomach, bring your shoulder blades up, release them back down. Squeeze, come up, release back down. Making sure that really tightening up that stomach and engaging our core. So when we're doing crunches, like I could lay down and do 100 crunches without stopping no butter. Or if I really focus and engage my core, I start to get 15, 20, and I can feel it, feel it to burn. So that's what we want to do is we want to start um, uh, allowing our core to really engage so we're feeling that burn within our stomach. So you squeeze tight as if someone's just about to punch you in the stomach. You want to tense up, and as you go back, completely relax. Squeeze and relax. So there we go, guys. Um, three different exercises, so we do 50 thrusters, 50 lunges, 50 crunches, then we go back and we do 40 thrusters, 40 uh, lunges, 40 crunches, then 30 of each, 20 of each, 10 of each, and then you're done. So I'd like for you to, as well with this workout, is to time yourself, and just take note of how long it actually takes for you to finish this workout. Um, because then you can go back again sometime, do the workout and see how long it actually takes you compared to what you did the first time. Um, and also as well, you'll have yourself a set target of what you actually want to try and beat. Uh, and this kind of shows you how you can measure your fitness levels um, of how um, you're progressing along. So again, enjoy the session. Uh, hope you have a good one.